the Edmonton Power Historical Foundation herewith presents the Emerson 1901 half horsepower single phase AC motor. In the early days of the electrical age, manufacturers were faced with a problem when designing a single phase AC induction motor with adequate starting torque. Emerson Electric Company found a clever way to solve this dilemma, utilizing repulsion start, induction run. Patent dates on this motor indicate it was designed around 1892 to 1894. The repulsion start induction run motor starts as a repulsion motor and runs as an induction motor. The advantage of this starting scheme provides greater starting torque than a split phase motor could provide. The repulsion start motor rotor is wound similar to a direct current armature. The stator is energized, creating an alternating magnetic field that runs through the rotor and induces a current in the rotor windings. The commutator brushes are short-circuited and the currents induced in the armature coils set up poles on the armature surface. The brushes are set so that the poles are slightly out of line with the stator poles and the mutual repulsion between like poles on the stator and armature produces the torque. The unique feature of this motor is its complex mechanical starting system involving a starting handle right on the motor. The switch is open. Spring pressure is pressing on the brushes, placing the brushes in contact with the commutator. The shorting ring is not touching the commutator. By moving the handle up to the start position, the blade of the switch closes to put current through the stator coils. Upon reaching a speed just below that of normal operation, the handle is moved to the on position. The shorting ring is now on the commutator, creating a virtual squirrel cage rotor, completing the conversion to full induction run. This action also releases the spring tension on the brushes. Improved methods of starting single phase AC motors were developed over the next few years that effectively obsoleted this complex mechanical sequence. To change direction of rotation, the brush position can be moved to the right to have the motor run clockwise. By moving the brushes to the left, the motor will reverse and run counterclockwise. Thank you for watching, and please visit us at ephf.ca.